In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a light bulb glow. So to do so, I'm going to open up a picture of a light bulb, which is right here. And I'm going to extract it from this white background because if we were to make this glow on a white background, you won't really see the glow given that the light bulb itself is white and we don't really want to go through the, the pain of changing the color. So I'm going to click my magic wand over here. This is my selection. It's set to number 6. That's why I cut out so nicely. I'm going to right click, select inverse, which means this is exactly what I'm extracting. If you look over here, I'm going to hit Control J on the keyboard. Now, I have just my light bulb. And I'm going to leave this one back here as a backup in case I mess up on this one. All right. On this stage, what I'm going to do next is grab my lasso tool and I'm going to click and cut off the bot sorry that's a poor selection I'm gonna click and cut off the bottom right there I'm going to alright right, I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna control J and what I've actually done here is I've just you know cut out the bottom because later on when we put the effect on I want just the light up here to shine and not the actual container that has the tungsten in it alright so here we have it this is our light bulb so now a trick on how to select just a light bulb is to first of all come to this layer which has just the bottom I'm going to click the bottom to highlight it like this and I'm going to come up here and from this layer I'm going to right click select inverse now it's choosing everything around there and by choosing everything around there well I now have the ability to control J and when I do control J I come up with this layer and this layer if I turn off the other layer is actually just my light bulb itself you know just a bulb that's exactly the part that I need and um, we may want to also cut this area right here out because we don't want this to shine but we want everything up here to shine and to do that I'm going to take the lasso tool and just click and drag across like so and I'm not going to delete this I'm just going to control J to create another the layer right here and um, I'm going to control click on this layer come down to our light bulb layer and I'm gonna click delete over here I click delete but it looks like nothing happened actually it deleted but the reason you see that up there is because I have this layer turned on remember we extracted that portion right there so if I were to turn this off that's gonna go away now I have all of the components of my light I have the bottom I have the top right there and it would be a good thing to put these two together because they go together and to do that I'm gonna highlight the first the layer 2 click the control on my keyboard to highlight the second one and for my keyboard I'm gonna to go to control CTRL and E that's gonna merge these two and now they've become one piece and then we have the top part of our light bulb and just for some sense of orientation I'm gonna click this and put this at the top I'm gonna to call this top bulb and I'm gonna double click over here and call it bulb bottom okay and which is actually this right here so now we have two pieces of it the reason I'm actually breaking this image up into two is because this is the portion I really want to animate alright or actually put an effect on and not this one and so I want that control that's the reason why I you know divided them like that or separated them so now to add, to add our effect it'll be good to have a background so let's go ahead from right here we're gonna create a background okay I'm gonna drag this down to the bottom sorry I'm just gonna move this here grab this layer bring him up and this we're gonna double click and call black background okay and to color in this black background 
knowing that our foreground is already black I'm just going to alt backspace and it's going to color that alright so here we have our bulb I'm going to take that out and we are actually left with this remnant right here which we need to get rid of alright and um, to get rid of that we can actually do this we are going to scroll up to this layer because the top bulb is where that effect is so we're going to highlight that and we can actually just um, just nicely delete it out just click and drag and delete everything out so there we have it okay so the bottom is gone so now we're good to go alright so we have the top of the bulb we have the bottom of the bulb and then we have the uh, entire bulb and the reason I'm keeping this is I want to show you the differences once we build it. You know what? I stand corrected. I'm sp I've been spelling bulb incorrectly all along. So I guess most of you are out there laughing, but B U L B is how you spell bulb. I'm going to come over here, double click again. B U L B. Well, at least the tutorial didn't finish. <laughs> anyway, I had time to correct that. Well, back to our meat and gravy here. I'm going to look at all the different components that I've selected and I'm gonna concentrate on this one because this is the one I really want to add the effect to and to make a bulb glow really is quite simple I'm gonna click on our effects panel and I'm going to go to outer glow from outer glow I get this I get the layer screen that comes up and here's the layer screen and now the glow that's been applied right now is yellow. I don't really want that. All right, so the technique is going to be softer. And if you look at the spread, I'm just going to exaggerate the spread a little bit by clicking and dragging. And you notice. And hey, look at this. We still have some remnants of the um the first selection, which we can always go back and you know just delete. All right. Um, that's the opacity, rather by clicking the opacity we see all that but if you come down here to the spread click and drag on the spread you don't really see a lot of the spread happening until you go down to the size click and drag on that right and by clicking and dragging on that it will actually brighten up our image so to see the actual effect see by clicking up here we're going to spread and we're going to size and there's really no effect happening and the reason for that is because earlier I was tugging around with the opacity so I'm going to increase the opacity all the way up to a hundred percent and now if I go down to the size and move it you notice we get that glow that comes up just like that the entire thing is glowing alright but now I can control the glow from here Alright, by leaving it up here and then going down to the spread. And then I have, that's right, it looks just like the corona of the sun. Alright, and so now we have a pretty nice glow, but it's yellow. And to change that yellow glow, we'll click on the yellow right here, go to white. And just like that, our bulb has become white. So I'm going to click OK to this. This is our bulb glowing. And I'm going to add the bottom of the bulb and you notice now this is a nicely cut bottom the bottom is not glowing but the rest of the bulb is and that's the reason why I separated them earlier in brief this is how you get a light bulb to glow and this can be applied to a light bulb that exists in a picture you could just highlight the light bulb you know and give it the glow by extracting it the way I did here and you will achieve the exact same results